If you're tired of dying like this because you suck at door stunning, then keep watching this video because I'm going to teach you how to go from this to something like this. This shit going to make Bubba your victim in the basement every game. Like, no cap. Like, look at how I teabag him, then I stab him, and then I teabag him again. If you're trying to get cold with the door stuns, then keep watching this video. So, all you need to do is just, when a killer is chasing you, you want to walk into the frame of the door, and as soon as he gets close enough, you want to slam it closed, and then run back towards the door immediately and slam it open. Then after you slam the door on them, you want to run over there and teabag the shit out of them because you just knocked them on their ass, and they look fucking stupid. The rest of this video is just going to be a gameplay of me doing this in a game. So the first thing you want to do is I always run over to the nearest bone scrap because you wanna have, you wanna stay strapped up because you never know when you might need to stab somebody in the back. But if you don't end up using this for one of the killers, you definitely wanna use it on grandpa just to get the extra XP. For I do not care about being seen or making noise because like I just showed you guys, you guys can bully the shit out of any killer that's chasing you. I look for my nearest lock pick and I ended up finding one over here. So I'm gonna go grab the lock pick. And again, I do not care about being spotted or found because I can bully anyone. So even though somebody just died, and, oh watch this, oh, door slam. You need to start doing this shit because it stuns them for so long you can always get away. And as long as you break lines of sight, you pretty much escape that encounter. So it doesn't matter who it is, sissy, hitchhiker, cook, bubba, like you can escape anyone every time doing this. So after I win that little encounter and get away, that's usually enough time to buy time for my teammates to pick a lock. If not, you can go and pick a lock yourself. But if he continues to chase you like this guy here, just hit him with another door. Put him on his ass again. So after doing this the entire game and only getting hit about two times, I ended up uh, doing the fuse box and escaping there. If this video helped you, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because I'm going to be dropping more informative videos on this game real soon. So stay tuned.